Hello, everyone. My name is Mo Zulfikar, and welcome to another episode of Income Investors. With me today is John Whitefoot, but before we go into any details, I want to let you know that anything you hear in this video is for information and educational purposes only. Nothing in this video should be taken as personalized investment advice. Investing comes with a lot of risk. To read more about it, please see the description below. And if you want to read more about what John writes on a regular basis, you could go to www.incomeinvestors.com. While you're there, you could also sign up for some free special reports that we offer to our readers and they get delivered to your inbox. There was an article recently published that said any dividend yield that is two times greater than the stock market yield could be a dividend trap. You know, that's a pretty narrow view and take on dividends. The average yield on S&P 500 is 1.62%. Twice that is just 3.24%. Not very frothy. And there are a lot of excellent companies out there with dividend well in excess of 3.2%. If you're looking for ultra high yield dividend and one with the low payout ratio, put Frontline PLC traded on New York Stock Exchange under symbol FRO on your radar. John? Yeah, thanks, Mo. I actually last looked at Frontline back in June when it was trading at $15.24. On October 10th, Frontline stock hit a new 52-week high of $19.84. That represents a short-term gain of 30%. Since June, Frontline's quarterly dividend has increased 14% quarter over quarter and a massive 433% year over year to $0.80 cents per share. Better still, the payout ratio is just 47.07%. Now, at the time, I noted that record demand should help crude shipping companies like Frontline continue to deliver strong results over the coming quarters and years. Management essentially confirmed or predicted this when it reported its highest quarterly profit since 2008 in the fourth quarter of 2022. At the time, management said it was a preview of the years to come. It has continued to report higher quarterly profits since then. Could you explain what Frontline actually do? Yeah, Frontline is a shipping company that owns one of the largest and most modern fleets in the industry. It ships crude oil and products in the Arabian Gulf, North Sea, West Africa, and the Caribbean. At the end of the second quarter, the company's fleet of ships included 20 VLCCs, and that stands for Very Large Crude Carriers. Now, they're capable of carrying 2 million barrels of oil. They also owned 25 Suez Max ships. They're specifically designed to move through the Suez Canal, and they can carry around a million barrels of oil, and they also own 18 Aframax vessels, and they're capable of carrying up to 600,000 barrels of crude oil. I was also reading that Frontline just announced a blockbuster acquisition that could make the company the largest pure play tanker company. Yeah, absolutely. A little background information first. Super tanker rates can fluctuate pretty wildly along with oil prices. Back in spring of 2019, they were at around $25,000 per day. They then climbed to over $150,000 per day in the fall of 2019. And then COVID hit. And then in the opening days of COVID, plate rates plunged to $25,000 per day. And then like a matter of weeks or you know, a month or two later, they surged to near $250,000 per day in the spring of 2020. Now, rates have seesawed a little bit since then, but they for the most part normalized. This past June, the spot rate for older VLCCs was 83300 per day and 91000 per day for newer, more fuel-efficient VLCCs. Now, in addition to that, high spot prices are really important, but so too is the medium turnout look for vessel supply and transport demand. On the transport side, VLCCs carry around half the global seaborne volumes, which when measured in barrels per day, but when you measure it by tons per mile, which is volume multiplied by distance, VLCCs account for a whopping two-thirds of seaborne crew flows. Now, let's fast forward to supply. Now, there's a, very, a huge shortage of VLCCs. There are currently 901 VLCCs on the water and just 10 on order. None are slated for delivery in 2024 and just one each in 2025 and 2026. This means it's impossible to increase the VLCC fleet until at least 2026-2027. And that's at the earliest. It's also led analysts to predict potential rate eruption by 2024. What's the best way to take advantage of this upswing? Buy newer takers from someone else. And that's exactly what Frontline did. On October 9th, it announced it will acquire a fleet of 24 VLCCs with an average age of 5.3 years for a total purchase price of $2.35 billion. Now, with the acquisition, Frontline will become the largest publicly listed oil tank owner and operator in terms of dead weight tonnage and increase its fleet to 89 vessels. The modern ships will have an average age of 5.3 years, and this reduces the total fleet average to 6.1 years, improving fuel efficiency and lowering average fleet emissions. The addition of the vessels is expected to significantly boost Frontline's free cash flows and earnings per share potential and improve its dividend payout. It reported its highest second quarter profit 
since 2008? Yeah, it's, it's just continued to do well quarter over quarter. For the second quarter, ended June 30th, Frontline announced that its revenues grew a, a, a strong 70% year over year to 500 and around 13 million. The company also reported its highest, as you were saying, the second quarter profits in 2008 of 230.7 million or a dollar four per share. That's up significantly from its second quarter 2022 net income of 51.2 million or tw just 25 cents per share. The frontline also reported a second quarter adjusted earnings of 94 cents per share. And that's up significantly from 22 cents per share in the same period last year. Now, just some like pretty basic numbers. In the second quarter of 2023, the company's spot time charter equivalent rates for VLCCs was $64,000 per day. Now that's compared to $16,400 per day in the second quarter of last year. So that just shows how much spot prices have gone up and how that they can fluctuate so widely. Now, the estimated bought time charter equivalent for VLCCs in the current third quarter is 53200 per day. But, of course, that can fluctuate as well. Now, to put that figure into context, the average daily break-even rate for VLCCs is just 27000 Frontline announced its second quarter payout that was 14% higher, and it amounted to $0.80 cents per share. Frontline's management says its goal is to distribute quarterly dividends equal to or close to earnings per share adjusted for non-recurring items. So, not surprisingly... It suspended its dividend during the pandemic. Things eventually turned around, though. In the second quarter of 2022, Frontline reinstated its quarterly dividend at 15 cents per share, and it's been climbing steadily since then. In the first quarter of this year, it declared a dividend of 70 cents per share. And in the second quarter, as you were noting, it increased 14 percent to 80 cents per share or two dollars and 52 cents per share for a yield of on an annual basis for a yield of 13.75 percent. Now, there's plenty of room for additional growth. The payout ratio is just 47.07 percent. I assume Frontline stock is doing really well as well. Just like Frontline's dividend, Frontline stock is also doing well and has rebounded significantly since the pandemic. It's, trading at, it's actually trading its highest level since 2011, I think. Frontline stock is up more than 30 percent since we looked at it in June and up more than 150 percent since we looked at Frontline back in March 2021. Uh, more recently, Frontline stock has experienced robust growth. It's up uh, around 20% over the last month, 82% year-to-date, and 105% roughly year-over-year. Year. John, thank you so much for your analysis. Thanks to a big acquisition, Frontline is poised to become one of the largest pure play tanker company. It's throwing off loads of cash, TCE rates are up, and its fleet continues to be in strong demand. In addition to an undervalued bullish share price, Frontline is also home to growing ultra high yield dividend. That's it for today. We'll be back with another video soon. So stay tuned. In the meantime, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. Goodbye for now.